Hello guys, welcome back. In our last section, we learned how to work with Y2 components to move cache and session data to different storages. And now, let's have a look at the sixth section of this course, i.e. full text search. Each web application receives a lot of data from users and other websites. Some information is stored in database and sometime later your database size will grow to gigabytes or even terabytes. And all this data should be easily accessible. Our visitors can't wait several minutes until the server finds the requested data. Despite the fact that some relational databases have their own full text search feature, it is better to reduce the load on the databases. We can use specialized third-party software to index all the data and find the desired data among our terabytes of data in a flash. In this section, we will consider some of the most popular softwares for full-text search, Sphinx, Elasticsearch, and MongoDB. What is interesting is that the E2 framework has its own components to support each of these engines. And now, let's move on to the video 6.1, Sphinx and Y2 related components. Sphinx is a full text search engine, which creates indexes using your database and your specific settings, then stores generated data in files, and then makes full text search using generated files. So Sphinx allows us to reduce database server load and provides a very fast full text search. Even more, Y2 Framework has its own components to use Sphinx, as this is a usual active record model. Also, Sphinx has a great documentation, and it's easy to install. Note that if you have not installed Sphinx, you will need to do that and create indexes of your own according to the instructions. In this video, we will install Y2 Sphinx components and then configure Highload application to use Sphinx Storage for full text search and try to perform this search. Please read the page www.yeframework.com forward slash doc 2.0 slash ext Sphinx index. The Y2 Sphinx components are described here, which allow us to make quick full text search. You can have a look at all the details on your own. Now, let's install Y2 Sphinx component. To do that, you need to copy the composer install command and paste it into your console. Press enter and wait for the Y2 Sphinx component to be installed. During the installation process, we can update our config file to specify different options for Y2 Sphinx component. How to do that? We just need to copy the text on the same page and paste it into the config file. That's it! Great! Let's assume that previously we had created post table with two fields. ID integer type field and body text type field. Then we have used the free, the Gutenberg encyclopedia to fill the post table. And as a result, we got about 25,000 rows in post table. We have various strings in the table. There are a few empty strings and a lot of strings, about 3,000 symbols. We will use this table for full text search. Note that for full text search, you need to index the post table and start searched Sphinx Daemon. You can update it a bit, 
copy to your Sphinx folder and use sphinx.conf file placed in the config folder. Also, let's consider that we have created the usual post model to work with dbtable. Then, Sphinx post model, which provides full text search with Sphinx. Also, we have created a post controller and the respective view files for CRUD operations. We have added keyword field in post index page to search matches with the given keyword. And now we are ready to run the search. Let's open the highload slash index.php web page and type any word. Then click Submit button and we get the results in a few seconds. Sphinx makes full text search for us extremely quick. It is about 10 times faster than the usual DB search. At the same time, the database is not involved in the full text search. So it is free for other tasks. Incredible. We have now come to the end of this first video. In this video, we installed and configured Yi2 Sphinx components and tried to work with Sphinx and previously developed features. And it works like a charm. In the next video, we will see how to use Elasticsearch Engine for full text search. See you soon.